Good morning, viewers. Welcome to today's Daily Fountain, Sunday, 23rd of July, 2017. Our topic for today is Summary of God's Law. And our topic, our text is taken from Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for the gift of life to see yet another beautiful day. Thank you, Father, because being alive today is a miracle. It's your doing as marvelous in our sight. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, as we study your word this morning, we pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will envelop us and interpret your word to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Once again, the topic for today says summary of God's law. And our text is taken from Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, beginning at verse 28 to 34. I read. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, Perceiving that he has answered them well, ask him, which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second, like it is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he. To love God, to love Him with all your heart and with all the understanding, with all the soul, with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as yourself is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now, when Jesus saw that He answered wisely, He said to Him, You are not far from the kingdom of God, but after that, no one dare question him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, viewers, the scribe impressed with how well Jesus handled the questions from the religious leaders, asked his own burning question, which is the first commandment of all. In response, Jesus gave him this summary the whole law. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and your strength, and your neighbor as yourself. In this conversation, we notice two important facts about the scribe. One, he asks an important question about life from Jesus and receives an answer and he recognized that Jesus spoke the truth. Do you see any truth in the word of God? His word is a light to our path, according to Psalm 119, verse 105. As we describe, Jesus will provide answers to life issues if you ask him. Unlike this scribe, do not be close to the kingdom Make sure you belong inside it by submitting to Jesus and making him Lord of your life. Because one who is not inside is still outside, no matter how close he or she may be. Once we are fully in, we have his Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and enable us to live out that truth day by day. Hear people of God, hear viewers. Yes, the scribes 
as you can notice, they know the law, but they are yet to accept our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you accepted our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Today, you have opportunity to do so. Christ is the truth and the light. Without him, we cannot see the Father. So, viewers, as you go to service this morning to church, I encourage you to have a personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Not just knowing going to church, but to accept him and know him because he is the truth and the light. You have every opportunity as you go to service today to know our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the light and the truth. The scribes have been there for many years, but they have not known our Lord Jesus Christ. You have been in the church for all these years. Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? As you go to service this morning, use this opportunity to accept him as your Lord and Savior because it's the truth and the light. Are you born again? Today is an opportunity for you to be born again. The only truth we have is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you hear the word, the word of God is truth, and the word of God is our Lord Jesus Christ. Read and meditate on the word of God every day. Your intellectual ability, like the scribes, cannot help you, except the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. You must accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. Brethren and viewers, you have heard the word of God this morning. It's encouraging you to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Don't be like the scribes who were very close to the kingdom and yet are not inside. You must be inside so that you can know the truth and the truth will set you free. It's reminding you this morning to accept our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be an onlooker. Don't sit on the fence. Be inside and you know our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept him today as your Lord and Savior. And you know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Let us pray. You have heard the word of God this morning. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? Are you ready to accept him? Prayer. Lord, give me grace to believe your word and to obey it so as not to miss your kingdom, in Jesus' name. Viewers, tomorrow is another day for daily fountain. But you can partner with us. You can see the phone numbers on the screen. You can reach us. You can also look at our website. You can reach us and partner with us. And as you do that, the good Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Have a fruitful Sunday.